Welcome back everyone, hope you're having an awesome day, and today we're going to complete our Valio campaign on hard. Last mission, we were able to take back Tarnovo from that perfidious even Asan. Uh, however, we were just then betrayed by Georgie Turto, how rude. And now we're going to where the one-eyed man is king, where we're going to plead our case to the Great Khan. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, we're going to do all the campaigns on hard, get all the achievements that we can. Uh, as you see, I've already beaten it. Let's just say, mistakes were made. Had a big army, and then I didn't have a big army. So that was the whole thing that happened. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a coffee, and let's move on to a Valio 5, where the one-eyed man is king. Let's go. Betrayed by Georgi Terter. Ivalo returned to Ternovo, but the gates were barred to him. His men finally gave up hope. They returned to their fields. Their uprising in the brain just a memory to be lost and forgotten. But Ivalo could not forget. Never forget. As he stood powerless before the city's walls, the weight of his fate as a mere pig herder finally weighed upon him. He had defied all odds. He had not just challenged the Tsar, a Khan, and an Emperor, but had upset and the won. very order of the world. He, a swineherd, had dared to overthrow kings and make men free. With these thoughts, Ivalo took the greatest risk of his life. Perhaps blinded by his ambition, or blinded by his hope, Ivalo turned to his enemy for help. He sought redemption in the land of the blind, where the one-eyed man is king. One-eyed man is king. Alrighty. Escape the church courtyard. You are restricted to a pop limit of 200. Avalio's horse wait beneath, waits beneath the tower on harder difficulties. Avalio will need to figure out a way to reach it. Collect resources near the Hungarian town, but be cautious when constructing buildings. The Hungarians will become suspicious if you build too close to their town center. In the mountains, only build enough to defeat the Hungarians once they are defeated. Any resources or units you have accumulated will not follow Avalio to Nogai Khan. I'll explain that when we get to the bit in Hungary. Uh, consider who to defeat first. The Poles are an immediate threat, but the wealth obtained from defeating the Genoese would help defeat the Poles. Again, I'll explain that when we get there. Avelio has disguised himself as a monk, but Georgi Turta saw through that clever disguise and have found him. He must escape into Romania to reach Nogai's court at Sakshi. I don't know if that's how we say it. That's what we're going with, though. Avalio will need to cross the Carpathian Mountains held by the Hungarian oligarch Roland Borsa. A Vlach prince named Radu Negru desires to kill the oligarch and free Vlachia from Hungarian domination. I don't know, every, ever since the Dracula campaign, I always just give it the ha. you got to give it the ha. you know? Uh, he could be a useful ally. Nogai Khan's Golden Horde has enemies on its borders, but Nogai is preoccupied with finding a successor to Monk Timur, the recently deceased Khan of the Golden Horde. The Poles hold the city of Kiev in the north, while the Genoese defend their Black Sea trading posts in Crimea with a strong navy. The Genoese Fatorias are a source of the Italian's income. But firstly, let's get the villager. Bring me the head of that renegade Bardot. No! Georgie Turta, you are my brother! I loved you! Okay, into the tower. Alright, first bit done. Achievement got. I will go my own way to the little Cassim down here. I have made arrangements with one Radu Negro. He will help you cross the Carpathians. Carpathian. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna Cassim's been a real G this campaign. He's, he's always been there for you us, you know? The that yes, that's me. Hmm. You do not look as impressive as he made you seem. Rude. Come, I have it come. I have a gun. The Hungarians oppress my people. Rude. Help me overthrow Oops. the oligarch Roland Borsa and you will have a way out of the mountains. Okay. Group one up here. We're going to first get this monk down here. He's going to be a villager. We immediately get that one. It's going to be the easiest villager to get. So let's get that first. So we don't have to worry about it. Now we must be very careful with this villager. We must begin gathering resources for our rebellion under the very noses of the Hungarians. This is rebellion music, this right here. This, I love this, this song. So, um, we're going to get this villager. We're going to immediately build a mining camp. I have tried, like, build a market and then you collect wood. It's just a whole thing. 
the best thing to do is build a mining camp and get this and just kind of start getting extra uh, units around. We're also going to build another monk and start getting the ones from this lumber camp as well. Look at that, they even sent another villager. Just in time for my faith to be regened. So we'll get this villager if we can. Nice, and then we'll get another stone miner. And I'm going to keep my units up here just because they do attack with some uh, Maya Hazars. They come down here. And we'll just start scouting the area all around. And then what we'll do is we'll wait till we get a town center up and then we can start building up our eco. So what it was saying before is the... Uh, the When you beat Hungary up here, so you knock out a town center and then you uh, kill Rod Rodrigo Borza, what's his name? Roland Borza. Um, when you get rid of... I think that's from Assassin's Creed, Rodrigo Borza. Uh, when you knock him out, you then lose all of your resources. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and use as much of our resources to prep ourselves for the next phase. That means getting text research. That means getting all that. So that way I can just build. I don't have to worry about researching stuff. It's all done for. We'll probably get go to Navy as well. Uh, we'll start bringing this village down here. She can be start building our town center for me. Because once they do a drop off, there we go. So now we get a town center about, about there-ish. Yeah, there. Oh, I can build farms all around it. So now all we have to do is just wait. Oh, look at that. Now, like, you know, they, they only started with one villager. Let's send another one over. We don't need villagers. Villagers are not useful for us. Send this one as well when we get it. We'll send this one down to the town center. And we'll get them to start cutting wood. And that'll be our next focus because we do have 200 food. That's okay. That's four villages. But there's like no food around the place. That's the only problem. So we'll uh, have to get some farms out as soon as possible. All right, group one. We'll actually use our. I'm going to use a scout quickly just to kind of scout up here. Looks like they've sent their attack force down. See? And how do I know that? Because up here before, there were horses all here, and then there was, they weren't there. And they're all my Hazaras, so I reckon that's uh, that's what happened there. Right, I'm going to send my scout over. We're going to scout their base a bit. And really what we're doing is we're just going to scout where they're... Uh... I like how it pushed itself into a tree line and now it can't get out. A Roman banner. Looks like he does. So this is like the bridge. So what we'll do is we'll probably build like a you know siege workshop somewhere up here at some point. Man, we lost a lot of units. I'm gonna throw that out there quickly. We have um monks here. Got our town center up. Beautiful. Let's get villages. Make as many as we can. Oh, well, you know what I should have done before as well? Is put it up to fast speed. That would make this just so much faster. Because, like, it's not... I don't need to be focusing too much on stuff going on here right now, so... Uh, I think that's a scout, but I'm not sure. I don't know, but I'm not trusting it. Yeah, nah. Well, didn't think so. Right now. The cool thing is, this is a hero monk because he's glowing. So he's regenerating health. He's nice. Pretty nice when you give us that. Uh, we'll send these two villagers here. They can start farming for us. We've got four on wood and a couple on food. We'll just mine all this stone. That We can at least sell the stone. You can build a castle if you really want. I don't know if it's worth it. But uh, I will at the very least... Build, uh, oh, let's sell the stone. We can use that for research. Because again, it doesn't really matter. You can build a castle, whatever. You just keep the research, and it's like, nah. Maybe conscription is useful, but I don't know if it's more useful than everything else you could be getting. Maybe I'll put these ones on defense as well. Defense stance. Oh, I see another villager. So kind, aren't they? Hit them with the me, me, me. Alright, drop off food, just so I can keep villagers pumping out, honestly. Starting to get, we're starting to get a bit of an eco running now with this. 
could probably have these villages here on farming. That'll at least make me get villages out faster. Granted, I could also stop mining the stone, but that just sounds boring. I don't even think you have enough for a castle. It's what, that's 470. 100, so let's say it's 100 and it's 570. There's only four villages here. I doubt they're carrying 30 plus stone, so. Might not ha even have enough for that. Uh, we'll go. We'll keep farms coming out since we have the. Oh, that's a bit too far up. That way we can get villages out to cut wood for us. Oh, we got these ones, they're all done. You know what they can come down and do then? Cut some trees. By the time we get that villager out, yeah, it'll be that. those trees will be dropped off. More farms. So make sure to subscribe to my only farms. The best, you know, fields, whatever. I don't know what people do on only farms. Let's go. Let's split this up because I like having five. That's my workforce. Five units on an area. Making extra villages now. They can woodcut for me. Look at this little workforce going. One villager into a mighty civilization. <laughs> Let's place these farms down. I think 12 on food should be enough, but it's like starting area. You can get some more if you really want. I might even build a mill at some. I thought I clicked the sensor, but apparently not. I think I actually clicked a farmer to go be a woodcutter. Send all these villages out. Beautiful workshop. I think putting those extra villages on farming early on was very smart. Alright, you're now on my team, buddy. Build a lumber camp down here. Cavalry archer. I like how the villager was walking down and then came back. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, that's actually a lot of infantry I don't want to deal with right now. So let's just run away. Start making some two-handed swordsmen just to kind of get our army up and running. Okay. Let's get, first thing we'll do is we'll get our uh, university and we'll build a market as well so I can Kind of shuffle resources around, mainly the stone. As I said, I'm not going to worry too much about stone, uh, like stone buildings or anything like that. And this is my army, got it. We said they probably don't have a lot of troops left, so we'll just keep. We'll probably get like roughly 10, 11, uh, 20 handed swordsmen. And that should deal with most of the stuff for us. Uh, while we're waiting for the market, we'll get architecture. Makes our buildings a little bit tougher. We'll build a lumber camp up here. Send these villages over there. Mill. Alright, we can sell all that stone. I'll buy one of each. Let's get... Let's get our upgrades. So let's go... We'll go Blast Furnace, just to make our infantry a lot tougher. And then we can knock out the town center with this. I mean, if we can, we'll get the um, get the other. Build one there. Build it there. We'll get crop rotation. It makes our farms better. Now, you know, we probably don't need as many villages. We're about to go on the offensive here. 
get a couple. We might get a couple more woodcutters just to. So we can kind of kickstart that. We've got 11 two handed swordsmen and our horsies. Yeah. Let's go. How's the life? So, what we're going to do is we're going to click. So, oh, hang on. Dark there we are. We're going to click so we go in. It does a little like this is where we're going. And then shift click the town center and then they'll all attack and hit them really hard. Stop. And random handed swordsmen. And watch this building just go down. Beautiful. I'm pretty sure you just need to knock out the town center. Get rid of these swordsmen here. Because they're actually kind of wrecking us. Now get rid of this one now that we've taken out the villagers. That should knock out all their units basically. All their villagers, yeah. So now we don't have to worry about fighting units now. So now we're just going to bring our army up. Look at that wood eco. Just want to throw that out there quickly as well. Let's get uh, Siege Engineers and Chemistry. Do this one. Thank you. Alright, everyone. Let's come up here. Let's get this, uh, let's get this train rolling, eh? Do that, and I don't even care. Really, just build that there. Eh, whatever. Other upgrades. Let's get Bracer. We'll get our armor upgrades while we're waiting. We do have our market, we can shuffle a little bit of wood around. And food. I'm not gonna really use food once we get once we get plate body on them. Don't really need food now. Once we build that uh, siege workshop, it really is just knock down the gate, knock out the castle, done. I don't think any other upgrades I'll need. I've got crop rotation, all my chemistry. If anything, it'd be cavalier. We can afford Cavalier at some point, maybe. We can look at that. I was like, actually, I've got like 270 food, so I can actually probably afford. It. All right, so all we need to do is, is we might sell a couple things of that. We'll sell all our food. We don't need it. There's uh, you know, siege rams or whatever. Don't need. Don't need um, food. Well, we only three. You only really need th three rams. And we're going to put these How's infantry the units in our, uh, the in the room itself. Yeah. It'll just make it, A, it'll make it move faster, but it also increases their damage a little bit too. Yeah. Throw as many as we can in there, the yep. Way. And then the next room that comes out, That's see him right. zoom around now. Put you on like attack on defense mode or whatever. Yeah. Come on, next room, there we yeah. go. I like how he's like, oh, where'd it go? My goodness. The Rams. Okay, it shouldn't be there for too long, but you know. We'll just let him do their thing. And now it is literally uh, just kind of look for something to kind of research if I can. Let's get keep while we're here. We got Cavalier, we did. I'm probably not going to build Pikemen, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to build a monastery, I don't think, so I don't want to worry about that either. And look, we saved our hero monk. That nice of us. So now we just knock out the um. Now we just knock out the castle. Let's see if I can bring him up just out of the tower fire here. Actually worked out pretty well. Uh, I don't even know if there's any other buildings I can build. I could probably build an archery range. I don't know if it'll be even useful though. Let's get it built and see what happens. Maybe I don't think it actually won't because we yeah, think it's out already. All right, we can uh, ungarrison all our troops. Take out the boy. Let's go. Two pronged him. Got him. That's no problem. No matter what happens to your people, you have helped free Valeria. Yeah, so I still need to get the upgrades, but eh, that's a lot of effort. So now we go to No Guy Khan. We just, uh, what I'll do is I'll click here because otherwise he runs to the Mangadai and then he just takes like literally forever to get there. Once he says speak. speak. Yep, now we don't have to be here anymore. I'm I going then. To your exalted Khan on bended knee so bended that my people have a chance to be free once more. I ask for your support against those who enslaved my people. You are not the first Tsar come to grovel. Who came before speak, me? But you have twice the manhood of this 
Ivan Asen. The Great Khan has joined the ancestors. No guy cannot war until a successor sits in the golden pen. The boulder you cannot act on this. And Crimea <laughs> in no guy's name. Do this, and no guy will consider your request. No guy needs to stop referring to himself in the third person. Doesn't need to, but it would be nice if he did, you know. We're just gonna uh, skirt this because sometimes there's just a giant purple army here for just pick a ring. And it's just a whole thing. I'm just gonna just quickly scout this little area here for the gold. But we're just gonna run down. Alright, uh, villagers, you eat the goats. And you, let's get five villagers out. Let's build up our army here. Get consumed in the group. And now we're just gonna run around and get all our goats and all that. So, I, I probably should have said it right when it happened, but all our stuff went to zero, and then we got resource, we got gifted resources then. Contributed resources, I should say. So now we're just going to scout this area out. Uh, there's like a couple of units around the place. And that should take us all over there. I'll just bring all the units there, one more. Alright, let's get some houses up, because we're going to get housed immediately, especially if we're picking up three units. Actually, let's just get a town center on. Alright, we'll get one villager doing this for me. And we'll build a... More villagers out. So we'll focus on uh, getting wood cutting going. Just mainly for the... I like how those didn't actually... On my team. Okay. Can't actually shift with those ones. That's fine. There's also a monastery on this little... Island. There's an island here. You see the shallows. Monastery there. Uh, so we'll build a monastery and we'll get the relics out of it. Just helps us a bit more than it'll help them, you know. But really getting this uh, second town center up super nice and So uh, let's get these boys here. Some bits up here as well. We'll bring them up here with all our other units. Ones, yep, we'll bring you over here just with the ones there. And we'll use these guys to scout down here for this. Yeah. These ones to start. We'll do wood cutting, I reckon, this one. Somewhere, just so I can trade resources. Two, two of these, um... Two town centers should be enough. I don't need. You can go to three if you really want, but it's. You don't need. Oh, I clicked inside the town center. Go to this tree, please. Let's build that. Ah, we also picked up some goats somewhere. Where did we pick them up? Nice little trick as well, if you want that. Oh, start getting, um, maybe we start getting gold mines. We'll get gold miners out of this one, and this one can be, uh, building, like, farms and stuff, you know? Seven, eight. Eight. Ah, nice. This one can start bringing units down here. When you come over. Actually, we'll get this one to build our mines. It's going to build mines everywhere, basically. And, uh, or mining camps, I should say. Oh, where's that? Punch that wolf. Yeah, boxing gloves. 
Tot. Ja, das ist die dann. Aber did this not click onto a farm? I actually don't know what's going on here. Alright, so now we'll get a couple more out here. Alright, we've got a bit of a good eco going. Uh, speaking of eco, let's get our cav heavy cav archer upgrade. We've finished all our blacksmith upgrades. I don't actually remember if I got keep research, but we're probably not going to build towers anyway, so it's one of those, like, if you really want it, go for it, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. A couple of houses here for us. Pretty how you know, farm farmland real estate. Let's keep cutting trees down. Build some farm and a farm there. We get that. I'll get these five actually. We're gonna mine. We're gonna do up here. We're gonna mine this stone so I can build a castle and start getting my defenses up and running. Uh, probably gonna need a. I don't even have a monastery. I was gonna say I'm gonna build um, a couple of villages, but I don't think it's actually. Get a handful more units out. We'll start doing um. Start logging to get more wood cutting going. I'll we'll get five more villages to do gold. When you finish all those houses, let's build a mill so that we can get those berries. There's also stone down here, so once they finish that, we'll bring them down. They can do this for me. So, wolves there. And I have all my uh, troops up here. Purple's going to come this way and attack. They're not going to come like... they like... I don't know. I think they actually come down this way. Uh, even though they have this area. Alright, what we'll do is we'll build our monastery there. Get that up and running. Get our... Uh, uh, university up. And then I can build a castle right next to this tree. That's a good spot. That'll cover this area. And it'll also hit anything coming up this way. And other than, uh, every now and then they'll just have random annoying units. We'll get, ah, uh, I'll probably only need two monks, actually. Oh, I have this monk here. Yeah, I'll just get two monks that way. Alright, eco wise we're doing pretty well. Let's get some villages out. They can be, uh, stone monks. Fight that, please. Thank you. Rude. If I was smart when I was scouting with all my units, I would have knocked out that wolf player. But times, you know, in line. See me. I didn't see my. Rude. Okay. This is trebuchet. Okay then. Well then, that's um not very pious of you, is it? Right. Luckily, these units are because I think they're from Nogai Khan. They they start off as um they start off as Mongolian, so they retain the uh, the um attack speed buff, which I love. Alright, let's get conscription, let's get, let's get Elite Conic, and I'm going to make five of them, and we'll just put them in here for now, while I build another monastery, because they so rudely destroyed my one. Okay, uh, villagers, what are we doing? We've got five on there, let's get five more out here, this one here, let's get, actually this one you do the gold mine there. This one, let's send them over to. Oh, my villagers are not very smart. Can you build this for me, please? 
We just had like a group of builders running around doing that. Back to that. Alright, you're all done. Uh, we have a couple of stuff. Let's do it. Maybe we get some towers up. I'm gonna build them here. I think we'll build them here first. Get our mining cam going just so it's just, just you know, something to do. Couple more out. Yeah, we did research keep, it looks like. Alright, I'll take it. We're in a monument here. Uh, let's get parked in. Not that it's really super handy, but you know. Um, and we'll, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group all my military buildings together. And that way I can like click here. Do that. And then I can make, you know, a couple of cavaliers. We'll sit them in play. Cav archers. This way too. Alright, let's go on the offensive, I think. Let's get our monks out. Probably should have uh, actually, what I might do, some docks out. Okay. Might wouldn't let me build there, but okay. Get three docks out, that should hold our area here. And we'll start going for the Genoese. So the Genoese is really easy to deal with, just build a couple of cannon galleons and um, prop it, you know? Alright, Cavalier, let's take the, uh, that one, please. Put you on no attack, we'll just put you there. Alright, Monk, let's get that relic, bring it here, you get that relic and bring it here, you get that relic and here. Everyone, let's go. Once I hear that third, Alright, now we run away. Run away. We don't need to be here, everyone. That's why we have a castle. Alright, that's three relics we've got in our monastery. And we've got the castle holding the fort for us. I might actually just get our cav archers and we'll throw them in there. Now let's get some conics out, start building up our force a bit more. And now let's start getting some cannon galleons out. So gold is the problem. That being said, we don't need a lot of food. So I'm going to sell all my food right away. Sell all of it. We don't need it. Uh, you're all done. Okay, you can now mine gold for me then. That was a terrible farm placement and I should feel very bad. Okay. Uh, back to my docks, which I forgot to build a tower. Get the towers up. Make some galleys. More galleys. Make some more cannon galleons. And we'll just have them spawn in here for now. It's getting hit by the tower, or is that hitting the dock? Not it's hitting the dock, isn't it? Alright, so towers are there. All we need to do is just keep an eye out for trebuchets. But the castle here should do most of the work for us. Do that. Um, let's get just some random housing going. My goodness, I did not think this far ahead, did I? I just realized I'm still on fast. Oops, no. There it is. But there is actually pretty good stock of gold in the map. Especially once you kind of get the choke points all settled. As you see, the wood cutting is uh, going pretty well as well. We'll, get full. we'll just get a couple more, and I might even build a lumber camp here. Alright, here we go. Now we've got a four, so purple's going to be thoroughly wrecked once I get up to it. For now, we just need to get our navy up in there. So like, handful of cannon galleons. Honestly, you probably don't even need this many. I'm probably just going to build... Actually, let's just build eight. We'll get normal galleon, as this one's building our war galleys for us. Do have shipwright? Do Bulgarians have shipwright? They do not. 
I thought maybe it was just already researched, but I suppose it's Imperial Age tech, you'd have to still research it. Yeah. Alright, resources getting gathered. Uh, relics, look at this gold. Relics just generating immense wealth for us. The gains is militia line. I was thinking for the conics, but I don't think it's going to help with the conics, so that's fine. Marshland real estate, let's go. Add an extra 20. Do Krepos give population room? 20 pop. You just build a Krepos instead of three towers. These towers, oh my goodness. Heated shot is just something else. Alright. We're gonna just send all the galleys out. Nice. Bring everything into the towers. Why fight them when the towers are here? Nice. Alright, we've got a good navy going and we've just knocked out some units. Let's go on the offensive on the Genoese. The only thing is, I'm pretty much well stocked in terms of resources. But we should have actually focused the navy first, because we're going to get a nice stock of resources from the uh, Genoese here. Uh, let's go up and what we'll do is we'll actually knock out their docks first, I think. Knock these out. That way they won't make ships, and if they're not making ships, they're not making demo rafts, and if they're not making demo rafts, I'm not scared. Get rid of these towers. Quite a few towers here, but that's okay. Alright, get rid of this uh, one here. Let's get a handful of galleys out here just to kind of defend my flank. Victoria one it should be down though in a second. Please, thank you. Get rid of these docks. I'm gonna need some cannon gallons. Oh my goodness. Had a cash in me through it, my goodness. I don't know if you heard it, but oh well, that's what it is. Group one. Alright, we don't have to worry about this side now. We um pretty safe. No, not fire ships. Let's get cannon galleons. These towers slowly but surely. A beautiful army. Tower. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, second Fatoria down. Get rid of that. Nice. And then we'll send our galleons up. Let's make a handful, we'll start sending them over here. Well, that makes me sad. But we've got our ships here, we'll get rid of that ship there. Because... Brrr, pop, pop, pop. Once we knock out the Fatoria, that's it, they all just, they just resign and delete everything. 
Nice and easy. And now we are stocked for resources. If I had any problems, it would now be the time to like start researching everything, basically. Even if I'm not going to use it, just because I can. That's the power trip I'm on right now. Speaking of tri power trip, let's move our army up. Group 2, move it up here. Group 4, we'll start making our rally point here. Start getting just some extra units out. Start sending them in. Doing anything? Gold miners. Uh, you're all done. Yeah, if you get bored, we got up here still. Thank you, Group 3, just so I don't like everything slow. Cannon Galleons, I'm actually going to make you Group 3. I don't care about the monks. Let's go up this way. Start taking out the town center. Really nice. We'll just start moving up the river. Moving up, down, down, down. By the river. Get rid of their docks. Nice. Get rid of that. Good shot, good shot. Get rid of all their uh, towers and stuff. Alright, everyone come here. Trebs are all just stacked on top of each other, which I love. Move everything there, and all our cannon galleons are starting knocking out like towers and castles and all that kind of stuff. Start hitting over here. All we need to do is knock out this wonder, which isn't too far off. Off Dune. We get rid of this castle. We can start going for the gate, maybe. All my cab archers up here. We've got these units here. Bring everyone up. We'll set our rally point over here now. Cannon galleons. Let's knock out their barracks. It stops them making, you know, pikemen and stuff. Knock out that treb. It won't stop moving, obviously. Knock out the stable. Pack everything up. Do that. We're gonna move our army in. That uh, monk has decided that cannonballs are the way. Go everyone, push forward, push forward. Do this, please. Thank you. And all here. right up against the gate and then we start hitting there done okay maybe not because all the cavalry archers are in the way we've got random units here doing things let's go trebs do the best you can There we are, they're all setting up. Beautiful. Alright, once we get to a couple of volleys out, that's it. Done. 43 minutes, I call it a nice win. Definitely better than the 57 one up minute I had. We'll say that. And that's not even including the outro. Alright. I have done what you have asked. Against my wishes, I have Against murdered my wishes. innocent men and women so that you will favor me and Bulgaria will be free once again. You are an honorable warrior, but honor alone does not make men free. Come into the tent and tell no guy why he should favor you. Because I'm the boy. That's what the campaign's named after. That's why. 
the One-Eyed Khan ordered the feast for Revilo and even Asen, huh? where he listened to their arguments on why he should support one over the other. Then, having heard enough, Nogai rose and pointed to Revilo. Say we won! At that moment, it is said that Nogai's guards seized Revilo and murdered him. Well, you know, winning's a state the of mind. The body was taken away <laughs> as Nogai returned to his seat and finished his meal. But I am not so sure that was the end of our hero. In the years since, Ivalo has appeared again in many places and many times. Wherever the downtrodden have the courage to fight for freedom and justice, Ivalo freedom. seems to appear. He does have a William Wallace-esque kind of face, us, doesn't he? And especially you, my child. I can see you're confused. I know you're thinking. What does this big herding czar have to do with me? Damn. Don't you see, my dear? I lived in Bulgaria then. So did you, in fact. You were very young then. A mere baby when I wrapped you in your swaddling clothes and carried you here. Oh, it's it Maria! The when the Emperor, <laughs> my uncle, took us from Ternovo and from your father, Tsar Ivailo. Tsar Ivailo. Right on. 113. I actually thought I was going to have a lot more. Um, Alright, if I were to make this better, thinking back like as I was playing it, and the other time I did it as well, obviously. First thing I want to see, is there an Envilo hero? No, it doesn't. I don't hear, no, that's, um, no, I think it's just a Khan. Alright, never mind. Um, so, all I would probably say is maybe try and get this area up first. Uh, you know, get your free docks. Maybe build a Krepos because that gives you a house. Like, Krepos or a castle. I'd probably go Krepos because I like, I like the castle here. Get this going first and knock out the Genoese. Uh, just because that's, like, you saw how much resources we got. We got loads of resources from the Fatorias. About eight, eight cannon galleons, maybe 10 to 15 galleys. And that should be enough to just cover your all your bases. So you can do the math on how much that is. Do that, and then you get a big stock of resources. Uh, maybe build a couple extra stables like here or something, and have them ready to just start sparing you out like cavaliers or like cav if you want whatever you want to focus on, and uh, and cav archers and all and conics even, and start sending them up here just to kind of start massacring the area. And then once you knock out the Genoese, bring your navy up, and you can literally just bombard the coast. You don't know, got the town center, a lot of their buildings in here, castle there, or you know, monastery. All the towers here, the gate, and then a couple of trebuchets send them up and they can knock this out. Although, if you're lucky, they did open the gate, it looks like. There is an Avalio there. Uh, they did open the gate uh, a couple times, sending like monks and stuff through. So, you could probably even try and sneak some units in and knock out the wonder that way. Uh, I think there's a castle there. A couple of towers, so I don't know. Up to you. But that'd be like the only way I'd change it. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, we've completed the campaign properly this time. And I will see you in the next one. I think this is the Lost Khans expansion. Expansion. So uh, the last one we've got is the Kotian Khan, which is Raising the Banner. So I'll do that one. And we'll uh, post it. Might be a couple of days later. Uh, just something's come up, so I've got to deal with that. So until then, have an awesome one. I'll see you in the next video.